Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Bright Month again, so I want to do a rainbow look. Let's get started. Because after all, rainbow and glitter and bright colors are always good in my opinion. Um, so yeah, whenever I have a reason to do a look like that, I'll do it. Uh, but yeah, as usual, we're just going to start off with a primer. Now I'm applying a little bit of a white base on top of it. Because with really bright colors, if you really want it to pop, a white base is the best. However, um, uh, my only white primer I have currently is a jumbo eye pencil. And I do like them. I know they're very popular. They used to be like the big thing. Um, but on my oily skin, they have this tendency to like not stay in place very well. So I'm really hoping that my regular base of color to two, Maybelline color to two, is going to help with that. And we'll see. Now next up, I want to do a rainbow look, but I do want to do it in a way that will still make it look nice as an eye look and not just slam the rainbow colors on without any regard for like eye shape and shading. Um, I'm going to use the PS Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette because it's really nice and affordable and it obviously has the entire rainbow, which is always good. The idea behind using an affordable palette, by the way, is also that like if you just want to do this look, this kind of look, like use these colors for Pride Month, this is just a really nice and affordable palette. It won't like, you know, it, it, it's not too expensive to just buy for one purpose, um, which is really nice and it will last you for years because it is actually surprisingly good quality for the price point. But like it's not a super super expensive palette, so it's not like a waste if you don't use it very often, is what I'm trying to say. Next up we're gonna go on to green. And um, basically the idea is, I do want to put red and orange in it as well, but I want to do it up here with a smaller brush eventually as sort of a shading. Um, because both ends of the rainbow, future are quite a dark color and I just don't really feel like putting a very dark color like red or purple in the inner corner, right in the inner corner where you usually put a highlight. I just really don't like how it looks. Like you could, everything's possible, it's just makeup. But I don't wanna, so I'm just going to like, like I said, start over the pale shade and then I'm going to like put some red up there. Next up, pure green. Oh, and by the way, I am only making the stripes of color as wide as the brush is, not wider. Uh, because keep in mind, you do want to fit the entire freaking rainbow on your eyelids. I just dropped the brush on the mirror. Anyway, um, yeah, you do want to like get the entire rainbow on your eyelids. So you don't want to make it broader than the eyelid is. It does need to fit, after all. So yeah, try to keep that in mind and don't go overboard with like the amount of color you put on. And also, uh, while you're at it, don't forget to also blend this edge up here. Then just a brow bone highlight in a shimmery white. And just make sure that everything up there is nice and blended. And then like I said, the red and orange, that's just going to be a little bit of a shaping, shading sort of thing. That made more sense in my mind, that sentence. Anyway, in the inner corner. So I'm just starting off with a smaller brush, obviously, with the orange. Or this should be obvious, I don't want a big, you know, just block of color in there. But yeah, I'm just applying the orange and blending it. And then just right in the center of that, I'm going to add the um, red. Yeah, phone shut up. Next step, just adding an eyeliner. Next step, glitter. I love it. It's really no secret that I'm one of those people who loves glitter. But yeah, this is going to be my inner corner highlight. Uh, I'm going for sort of holographic glitter with some stars in it. Oh, and also as far as face base goes, um, I don't know about you, but like when I when it's summer and I wear like a full face of foundation, 
I'm not expect. I'm, I'm just just not pleased with my own life decisions. Because I'll get sweaty and it'll get greasy and it'll look like hell within like five seconds, which is you know not what I usually want from a makeup look. So I'm just going to go for, well, what I'm already wearing, which is a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes with, fun not foundation, but with powder on top of it. And just leave it at that because I know that I won't get like oily, greasy, yuck, sunscreen mixed and just terrible overall. Basically. And then some different glitter on the outside here, just because why not. Actually, come to think of it, I'm just going to put a corresponding shade of glitter on every single color. Because there's no such thing as too much glitter until, of course, I reach the moment in time where I have to wash this off again. And I'll definitely think I'll uh, apply way too much glitter. But that's a problem for future me and also for tell me. Now for highlight, I am going for a more expensive one. However, just use your most glittery highlight. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. For underneath the eye, we're just going to add some of the rainbow colors. But I um, am... well. Uh, I did the wrong order in the other on the other eye, so I'm just going to like do it differently on both eyes to make it make sense, at least in my mind, basically. As long as all the colors like sort of like return in this part of the look, is perfectly fine. And then the usual um, nude waterline pencil thing that was not a normal sentence. And then lastly, a good layer of mascara, top and bottom. And then as a very last thing, a glittery liquid lipstick, and then we're fully done. And that leaves us with the final results. Um, yeah, just something quick, easy, good for warm weather, but also rainbow and glitter. Always fun. Well, it's not going to be fun when it's time to wash this off because glitter does not dissolve in water. So I'm, I'm not going to be happy when it's time to wash this off. But we're going to ignore that for now because, well, I mean, it is worth it to me at least. So, yeah. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please click the like button. It would really help me out because it makes YouTube suggest for videos more often to new people. And if you don't want to miss any for future videos, you can also subscribe to my channel. Um, I mostly do make tutorials, but I also do nail art, vlogs, and whatever else I can happen to think of. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!